Now let us calculate the magnetic induction due to a circular coil at its axial point. Here you can see there is a circular coil carrying a current I in clockwise manner of radius R. And on its axis at the point P located at a distance x from the center of coil, we are required to find its magnetic induction. In this situation, we consider a small element of length dl. Say we are considering at the top of the coil, in which if a current I is flowing, the magnetic induction at point P can be obtained by using the Biot-Savart's law, the angle which this tangential length is making over the line joining of point P is 90 degree. So we can directly write if dB is magnetic induction at P due to dL. This implies this dB can be given as a mu naught upon 4 pi. I dl sin 90 we can write as 1 divided by the distance square which is root of r square plus x square. So it is r square plus x square. And if you wish to see the direction that can be obtained by right hand thumb rule here, you can place your thumb along the direction of dl and fingers towards point p, then the direction will be perpendicular to this line joining. So here this db will be in this direction. If this angle is alpha here, we can see from the plane normal to the axis, this angle will also be alpha. And here this db will have two components, one is db cos alpha and the other one is along the axis which is db sin alpha. Here due to all the elements on the circular coil, if we calculate the direction of db as well as its magnitude, this dB cos alpha will all get cancelled out and dB sin alpha will be added up. Because here you can see if I consider an element at the bottom of this coil, the magnetic induction due to this element at this point P can be given in this direction. So its vertical component will get cancelled out and the component along the axis will be added up. So we can write net magnetic induction at point P is given as this magnetic induction at point P we write as integration of dB sin alpha. If we substitute the value this dB we can write as mu naught upon 4 pi I dl upon R square plus X square multiplied by sin alpha. Here in this triangle, the value of sin alpha can be given as r upon root of r square plus x square. R by root of r square plus x square. And we integrate it within limits from 0 to 2 pi r for the whole circular coil. And in this situation, here you can see all our constants, only dl is variable. So magnetic induction at point P we can write. It is given by mu naught i r by 4 pi r square plus x square to power 3 by 2 multiplied by integration of dl from 0 to 2 pi r we can write as 2 pi r. Here this pi gets cancelled out, 2 gets cancelled out and the remaining result here we can write b at point p can be given by mu naught i r square by twice of x square plus r square to power 3 by 2. And if there are n turns in the coil, we can multiply it by n also, and this is the final result we are having for the magnetic induction due to the circular coil at the point P, where n are the total number of turns in the coil.